Hello everyone. For today's video, I'm going to discuss about the accountant's copy of QuickBooks. The accountant's copy is the QuickBooks copy that we are going to send over to our accountant for auditing purposes. While our accountant is working on the company file, we can also work on the company file at the same time. Then all the changes that has been made by the accountant can be imported or incorporated back to the QuickBooks live file. There are two ways to get an accountant's copy to your accountant. You can create a file to put on a USB or an online hosting service, or you can also send the file through the accountant's file transfer service. But if you're going to send the copy through the accountant's copy file transfer service, your accountant needs to have a pro advisor subscription. So I will now create an accountant's copy. I will create file, create copy, and then choose accountant's copy. Click next, accountant's copy. And I will choose a dividing date. My dividing date is August 31st. I can do changes after the dividing date. I can add new transactions, delete transactions, or edit transactions, but I cannot do any transaction before the dividing date because my accountant is working on that. On the other hand, my accountant can do changes, can make adjustments, and turn new transactions before the dividing date, but he cannot do any transaction after the dividing date. I will click Next, click OK and save the file. Okay, so we have successfully created an accountant's copy file with a dividing date of August 31st, 2021. I will click OK and we're going to send this to our accountant for review or for auditing. After creating the accountant's copy, we can see that there is an accountant's changes pending reminder at the top of our company file to let us know that our accountant is currently working on our company file. Let us wait while the accountant is making changes and then we're going to import the changes back to our QuickBooks Live company file. If we're going to disregard the accountant's copy that we sent to our accountant, we can go to File, Send Company File, accountant's copy, client activities, and then remove restrictions. Once we click that, the accountant's changes pending at the top of the company file will be removed. If there are any changes to the accountant's copy that we sent to our accountant, the changes won't be incorporated back to our company file anymore because we have already removed the restrictions. So now we're going to incorporate or import the changes from our accountant. I'm going to click File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, Client Activities, and then Import Accountant's Changes from File. And then this is my Accountant Changes copy from the accountant. The extension is .qby. I will click Open. These are the changes. There are three transactions that has been added to our company file. I'm going to click Incorporate Accountant's Changes so that the transactions will be imported to our company file. Click OK. And then QuickBooks will ask you to create a backup copy before importing the accountant changes. I will click OK and let's create a backup. Save. All right. so. The accountant changes has already been imported to our company file. I will click OK. And QuickBooks will also automatically create a PDF copy of the changes that has been incorporated to our company file. I will click OK. I will click Close. And would you like to update the closing date and password? I will click No for now. So let us check the PDF file containing the accountant changes that has been automatically saved by QuickBooks. The PDF file was saved in the same location as the company file. Okay, so here's my company file and this is the accountant changes. I'll click, I'll double click this. Okay, so these are the changes that has been made by our accountant. Dates are before the dividing date. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.